Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. So in last week, there was a comment on our YouTube channel asking about how attackers hack into databases while databases are protected, right? So this particular episode, what I'm going to be covering is about how attackers anonymously hack into a password protected database server while you don't even know the password, but still pass arbitrary commands using a privileged query right so let us understand it in a little more detail so watch the episode from start till end without any skipping so that you understand the complete workflow of how this attack is done welcome to this part of sql injection attack so what i do is i actually open up a, a vulnerable web page okay i'm uh, there's a lot of methods to identify a lot of live vulnerable pages using uh, uh, google docking the so-called google search method or you can use shodan and other kind of search engines with which you can identify potentially vulnerable web pages but here what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for acunetics vulnerable web right when i do that as we are all already aware, Acunetix is a very popular task product, right? They already have an application which is hosted on the internet, which is vulnerable, right? So the reason why they have hosted this is just to show how good their product works, right? So they scan their product against this particular vulnerable web. So it shows a list of all critical high, medium, low and information level vulnerabilities, right? So let us go click on this particular URL. Okay, so we are all in this page called the test php.vulweb.com, right? And here I'm just looking, is there any page where we can sign up is there, right? And uh, we, we also have demo and everything, right? So I'm going to your profile. But when I click your profile, it says you have to be logged in, right? It says you have to be logged in and it's posing as a username and a password message here right now i type in a username called admin and password called admin now i'm going to click submit okay please pay attention it says please use the username test and password test right so first let me use that make you understand right when i do that the application just logs in with no issues right it says logout test so we are already logged in right now, instead of what I just did right now, what I'm going to do is I'm saying test one, again test. It is not showing up the logged in page, which means the username and password that I entered was incorrect. So is there a method in which attackers randomly use certain technique to bypass the username and password field while you can already assume that the username is either test or root or admin or some default uh, usernames that most likely the admins would keep right if you know that this is uh, the likely username that the admin would keep you can still try a technique or the a sql injection authentication bypass attack through which you can actually log into that user account even without the requirement of the password right okay now I'm just typing in username admin, password admin, but before I click this, I'm just pulling in a notepad for you to understand. All right, so let me make it a little smaller, yeah. They have asked us to type the username as test, right? Password also test and login, right? When I click this now, what happens is, there is a, query that goes to the database from this web application. This web application already knows the authentication detail of that database server, right? So with which it sends a query. What is a query like? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.